So the oil pan gasket on my car is leaking a little bit. So today I'm gonna go ahead and remove the oil pan and reseal it. Now I'm doing this in combination with an oil change. So I made an oil change video that you can watch if you need to do that as well. Porsche actually has a sealing compound that they recommend. So that is what I'm gonna use. And this is what they give you in the box here. So I'll uh, figure out how to use this as I go. So as you can see, I'm currently in the middle of the oil chain. So to get this cover off, the first step is you're gonna have to drain all of the oil. So go ahead and do that. All right, as you can see, I added this blue tarp under here now because when we take this pan off, the pan is wider than this. So chances are oil is gonna spill. I'd like to wait for this to stop dripping completely, but I'm impatient and it's already been probably half an hour. So I'm gonna start removing this. Just have a ton of 10 millimeter bolts up here. So I'm just gonna start taking them off. Alright, so after getting those off, I was told to bang on this with a dead blow hammer. Oh cool, so I just noticed right up here, let me zoom in, right up here there's kind of like a little uh, lip piece sticking out here, so I'm going to guess that's where you're supposed to pry on it. Ah, yes. Perfect. We're just going to pry this off. Aha, there we go. It's not so bad when you know what to look for. All right, we're gonna lower this, and I'm sure it's gonna have oil all in the bottom of it. So let me set it down here, and we can inspect it. So, and it's still got a lot of oil in here. And nastiness all around here. And in the top part, we still have a bunch of oil dripping, of course. Tip this out of the way. Oh man, that does not look good. Lots of uh, middle-y bits in there. On this side, I got a little strand of the old sealant that was in here. Well, one thing I know I'm gonna want to do while this stuff is dripping, I'm gonna go ahead and start just taking a razor blade and cleaning up this area where we're gonna reseal it. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe everything down. The shop cloth, it's got a little oil on it, but other than that, it's clean. Wipe down all of our internals as well. Just wanna get a good look up at everything in here. A little brush to clean up the areas of contact for our sealant. All right, after brushing, I'm gonna get some denatured alcohol, a new rag, and make sure that all the residue, all the oil and everything is removed so we can have a nice clean seal. 
All right, on today's episode of That's Not Engine Oil, I pulled out everything that was in that oil pan and it does not look good. That thing looks like a rock. I have no idea what it is. I'm assuming these pieces over here are some sort of plastic. And these I tested are non-magnetic, so they are aluminum shavings. And so that you can see them in relation to something. Here's my hand, so they're not tiny. So very worrisome. So every time I take my oil filters off, I always want to inspect them just by pulling them open accordion style like this and looking for any sort of debris that is getting trapped in here. And I actually do have quite a bit of metal shavings in mine, which worries me. Uh, let me see if I can find an example here for you. So as you can see in this one, there is a good sized shaving right there. And in some of the other ones, I have some smaller flecks of metal. Here I think is actually a little bit of metal and some plastic pieces. So hopefully yours looks more clean like this one and you don't have any engine issues. What does that mean for me? I'm not sure yet. We're gonna keep running the engine and check the filter next time and see what it looks like. Uh, except I'm gonna check it after a couple thousand miles. Anyway, back to the engine pan. I wiped it down and took a razor blade to clean up our edges again. Um, if my engine were in better shape and I weren't so worried about it, I would probably remove the bolts in here to take out this plastic piece, spray it down with brake cleaner because you don't want that to get on the plastic so it doesn't hurt that anymore. Um, and I'm gonna clean this edge with the denatured alcohol as well and put some sealant on it, put it all back together. Okay, now that we have our edge all clean, I'm gonna try to figure out how to use this Loctite. So in this little thing here, I assume is our plunger. All right, this thing doesn't really have directions. I'm assuming I'm just gonna cut the end of this off. out. I'm going to cut off the smallest end of the cap. It says to have 1.5 millimeter bead. So yeah, 1.5 right there. Okay, here is a diagram showing you where to apply the sealant. So as you can see, it's inside all of the screw holes. I'm just going to use this thing as a plunger, I assume, is what you're supposed to do. And so if we follow the diagram... I need to cut this a little more. All right. All right, now it's coming out a little better. So it says after you put this bead out here, pan back on within five minutes. All right. Cut this tip just a little bit bigger. All right, this plunger is really hard to squeeze. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit bigger again. This thing's gonna take the full five minutes just to get this bead on. All right, that's a pretty terrible bead, but it'll have to work. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of this blue Loctite and put it on the threads for these bolts that are going back in to hold it in place. Got back under the car quickly. Gonna lift this back up into position carefully. And I want to make sure everything's all lined up 
before I let the gasket touch. So I got one bolt hole here to help me guide it. And I'm going to start this one by hand a little. And my second bolt that I had locked tight on the opposite corner. I'll line this up. Start it by hand. Now that they're pressed in place, I can tighten this one down a little. I'm just going to take the remaining bolts, wipe the oil off if necessary. Apply a little blue Loctite and then start them in. And as you start to tighten them down, you should see the sealant pressing out from around the edges a little bit. Really, the shop dog is hanging in there with me today. Okay, these get torqued down to seven foot pounds or 10 Newton meters, depending on which way you want to go there. So it's really not much at all. Just kind of work your way around like you would doing a tire. So that's it. So where the extra uh, gasket stuff is coming out the sides here, you can feel free to wipe it down because it doesn't do any good on the outside. It won't hurt to leave it, but just look a little cleaner. All right, now just with another clean rag, make sure that drain plug is cleaned up and uh, drain hole. Get it all clean. Hopefully you bought a new crush washer when you bought your filter. Now when you tighten your drain plug with the torque wrench, it is 50 Newton meters, or that's 37 foot pounds. All right, so that's it. Hopefully you didn't find any bits of metal in your pan like I did in mine. So please give the video a thumbs up if it helped you. Subscribe to the channel for some more cool content and we'll see you next time.